and now this will turn into its own tree. Hey guys, what's going on? In this video today, I want to show you how easily it can be to ELA a fig tree. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so these are the three things you're going to need in order to ELA a fig tree. The first being a knife of some sort. Now this is to scrape the bark layer and we want to expose just a bit of that green wood. Now you don't need to completely expose the wood, you just need to scrape it. So this is what I use, this is a hori hori knife. The second thing you're going to need are these air layering pods. Now these come in multiple sizes, so this is I believe the large one and you can get the smaller ones. Now if you've got a smaller diameter tree that you want to air layer, then you want to use one of these. And guys, the last thing you're going to need is a rooting mix for your air layering pods. So this is going to go into the pod like that. So once we've got our air layer pod filled up, we're going to water it in and then we're going to close it around the tree that's been scraped like that. And then there's a little latch here and we just want to make sure that this goes on top like that and that's it. This won't open up now. So that covers the basic understanding of how the air layering works. So now let's go outside and take a look at a fig tree that we can actually do an air layer on. So we're outside now guys and you can see a fig tree here. Now on the left there's a potential for a nice air layer. So I want to show you how it's going to be done in this one. So guys what we're going to do is we're going to put the air layer just about here and we just want to scrape a bit of the bark. Now, you just want to make sure that it gets to the green point. You don't need to go really deep in. And we'll do that around the entire area. I'll show you now a close up of what it should look like. So guys, if you look closely, that's what we're aiming for. We want to get that green layer exposed just slightly. We don't need to go too deep in. So now that we've got the wood ready, we just want to water in the uh, air layering pod to make sure that the mix is nice and moist because this won't work if it's dry. So there you guys can see it's been moistened. So this is where we scrape the bark and this is just going to go around like this. Now like I said before guys, there's a latch here and you want to make sure to clip this in to hold it in place otherwise it can fall out. There you go, it's closed. So now if I leave this, this air layer will stay completely intact and it won't fall out. So you guys can see that this air layer is on completely perfectly. I don't have to worry about any bags or using any rope. This is just gonna stay intact like that. So guys, now I wanna show you one I did 60 days ago and let's have a look at how that done. So this is my Zora's Dark Fig Tree and it's about one and a half years old. So if you guys look closely, you can see behind the leaves there's an air layer right there so this is the pod that i was talking about so let's see how we did let's take this one off so now you guys can see the pod clearly now in order to take it off there's just a couple clips and we just want to make sure we undo them there you go let's have a look how we done and we'll just clip it off from the, from the base like that. So there you go guys, that's the air layer and it's done quite well. So because it looks really dry, what we're gonna do now is just quickly put this in some water and get it hydrated. So I'll be back in just a second. So these, these are the pods I was talking about guys. These are excellent. You can reuse these. And once again, the clip just goes on like that. To take it off, you just pull, the, pull that back comes out like that and you can just keep reusing these forever and I'll have these linked in the description below if anyone's interested okay guys so we're back now in the shade and that's the air layer all we all we did was just clip it off right here and now this will turn into its own tree that's how easy it can be to air layer a fig tree so now what we're gonna do with this air layer is we're just gonna take off these figs and we're gonna get this into a larger pot Okay, so the reason why we want to take these uh, figlets off is because we want all the energy to go into this root system and uh, making new leaves. So obviously we need to take off all the figlets for that to happen. So I'm just using these Okatsune Secateurs for that. So now we're just watering the actual root ball because it looks really dry. And even if we water it in the pot, it's going to stay quite dry. So we just want to break the hydrophobia a little bit. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll just fill this up.
because this mix is really light, this 511 soil mix that I make, we just want to compact it in just a little bit. So guys, now we put the uh, air layer into the soil and we're just going to add a little bit of um, seaweed into the water so it can help with that um, root system and get it going. So guys, there you go. That's how you air layer a fig tree. And you just want to make sure that you don't leave this in the bare sun, especially in summer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to air layer a fig tree. This is how easy it can be. You don't have to worry about any sandwich bags or using any rope or anything like that. All you need are these air layering pods and just time. So guys, if you enjoyed this video today, drop a like below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening.